Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you look back a couple of videos, we spoke about the luggage options you can have on your bike. Your hard luggage, soft luggage, soft panniers, tank bags, utility bags, crash bar bags, so on and so forth. So this video, we're going to be focusing only on top boxes. This is pretty much the first luggage option that you would get on the bike. So we have a plastic box here and a metal box here. So let's get into the video. Alright, so you've got your spanking new fancy bike and you've installed all the accessories that you need but you're a little confused whether to go in for a plastic or a metal box. Well, in this video, I'm going to be telling you about why a plastic box, why a metal box. Both of these excel in different ways. So if you look at this Himalayan right here, we have a 43 litre plastic box. Now this rider prefers something very light and something that's easily accessible in the market. Now, across brands, you will have universal plates given with the plastic box, unlike the metal box. Mounting these on the bike, taking it off, really easy. Now, if you look at uh, why not a plastic box, well, over the years of usage, the plastic can deteriorate a little bit and fade out. Decent amount of care, you can really take care of the plastic uh, without it not fading and stuff. But yeah, apart from that, the plastic box also gets a few accessories. So if you see here, you have an upper net you can have your, uh, you know, your fuel bladder or maybe something really light. You can't put in something too heavy on this. You also have a backrest to give you the fill-in comfort. And this box also comes with the inner padding to keep things from rattling inside. If you're someone concerned that, well, putting a top box can affect the handling of the bike, well, that's really not the fact unless and until it's mounted really well with the given hardware. And these plastic boxes hardly weigh much. They are really lightweight, which is why plastic boxes excel in that department when you compare it with your metal boxes. Talking about pricing, well, if you're just using it for city and a couple of short rides here and there, you might want to just invest in a plastic box, which is super pocket friendly. The only disadvantage that you might have with the plastic box, well, it can be, say, if the bike has a small crash or you're riding on a trail and you have a small tip over, there are slight chances that a plastic box can shatter from the rack. That's the only thing that you would want to keep in mind. So that is where your metal boxes, the big guy comes into picture. So let's get into the metal boxes. All right, so there are a few things you have to keep in mind when you pick up a metal box. Really simple, you'll need to pick up a bike specific rack. Only reason is because these metal boxes are not light in weight compared to your plastic boxes, which is why on this KTM Adventure 390, we have a bike specific rack. Now talking about weight, yes, these metal boxes are slightly more heavier than your plastic boxes, but the advantage is you can load these guys up quite a bit and not worry about it falling off or breaking off the rack. That's how rugged and premium these boxes are. And looking at the accessories for these uh, metal boxes, just like your plastic boxes, you have a backrest, you have your inner net, inner padding, inner back, so on and so forth. So these are again easily accessible. You can take it off the bike, put it onto the bike really easy. Last but not the least, in terms of pricing, Yes, the metal boxes are priced a little more premium compared to your plastic boxes. The only reason because uh, you'll have to pick up a bike specific rack and of course they're a little more premium. Now also, if you're talking about safety wise, both these boxes have their specific locks, the mounting mechanisms work absolutely great. But when you have a crash, say with a metal box, uh, say you drop the bike or stuff in a trail or maybe you're riding in the streets, the metal boxes can take a lot of impact compared to your plastic boxes. Only reason being because you can tap these back into shape and that's pretty much what a metal box is. Alright, so there what you saw was a complete breakdown between the plastic and the metal boxes. I'm pretty sure you are now in a good state of mind to figure out whether you need a plastic or a metal box on your motorcycle. Now these boxes are available across different brands. The pricing can vary considering the brand and for the bike you pick it up for. So stay tuned for the next video. We will be talking about the other luggage options that you can have on your bike good and really cool stuff coming up. My name is Ajit. I'll see you guys in the next one.